Hey everybody, I'm Chris Wook. Our last comparison was fun, but it was also kind of one-sided. Now we're moving on from Bluetooth speakers to two pairs of earbuds that couldn't be more different. Except for when they're the same. Starting off, one of the major differences between the Power Beats 2 and the Blue Buds X is the method in which they stay attached to your ear. The Blue Buds X use in-ear wings, which make these more visually similar to standard earbuds. The Power Beats 2, on the other hand, use over-ear hooks. Some, myself included, find the over-ear hooks more comfortable than in-ear wings, but this will always be a matter of personal preference. In terms of build quality, both of these are fairly tough. The Power Beats 2 are IPX4 certified water resistant. Those used to seeing much higher IPX numbers on Bluetooth speakers are probably wondering what this could possibly protect against, and the answer is simple, sweat. Though Jaybird doesn't put a number on it, the Blue Buds X are also sweat resistant, and Jaybird goes so far as to issue a lifetime warranty against sweat related damage. The actual IPX4 rating on the Power Beats 2 does give them the win in this category, but this was almost too tough to call. Jaybird throws a lot of terms around in its marketing, like Signal Plus and XFit. In the terms of Signal Plus, this is supposed to mean skip free music, but the Blue Buds X are no more skip free than most other earbuds I've tried. The Jenna voice prompts are nice, but in the end, you'll only really use them when pairing, which, assuming you're mainly using the Blue Buds with one device, will likely be once or twice a month, if that. Beats doesn't offer the differently named features, but they never skip during testing, which is slightly better than the Blue Buds. Pairing is equally easy on both headphones, and the remotes are both fairly usable. The Power Beats 2 have a slight disadvantage here in that the power button is on top of the left earbud. This leads to fumbling around in search of the power button if you're trying to turn them on, or off while wearing them. The Jaybirds offer more, but don't quite live up to those promises, otherwise functionality is virtually the same between the two. This category is a tie. Battery life is the only category where picking the winner is a no-brainer. Jaybird offers a battery life of up to 8 hours of playback time on the Blue Buds, Beats offers up to 6 hours for the Power Beats too. Considering that charge time is so similar and so is the method of charging, the winner here is clear, Jaybird takes it. Power Beats 2 are one of the best sounding Beats products we've heard and the price to performance ratio is quite good, for Beats anyway. There's plenty of bass on display, though it has a booming quality that extends into the lower mids. Mids are cut slightly and the highs are slightly rolled off at the highest frequencies, though not to the point that detail is sacrificed. The Blue Buds X also have a decent amount of bass, though the lows are better defined and the low mid depth is slightly better. The same dip in the mids as the Power Beats 2 is present and highs seem to be similarly rolled off but the highs seem a little crisper here with a little more clarity. The Blue Buds X are meant to isolate noise and they do a good job of it. The Power Beats 2 on the other hand are meant to help runners, cyclists, and others who are exercising outdoors keep an ear out for street noise. Both of these are going to be useful for different individuals, though neither of these can be described as a pro or con. Both pairs of earbuds handle volume fairly well. This category is closer than you might imagine, but again, the Blue Buds X take it. After our last comparison, you might think that we'd pick against Beats in any comparison, but the Power Beats 2 really give the Blue Buds X a run for their money. Here it all comes down to which pair is better for you. Still, we've got to pick a winner, and the Jaybird Blue Buds X are probably the better choice for more people, so they're taking the win. And that's it for this one, everybody. For all the details, check out the article over at soundguys.com. And if you want to keep up with what we're up to, sign up for our newsletter. Links for both are down in the description. If you liked the video, let us know. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm Chris Wook. Thanks for watching.